G'day everyone, Rach here from Book Piles. Welcome to a check-in, basically. Uh, it's the middle of the year. I am not coming out the other side of being unwell, but I'm fine at the moment. Medication has actually got everything going and in the last month or so I have been feeling alive. So things are kicking back in a little bit. Um, and I wanted to make sure that at least some of my YouTube channels didn't die a death this year. Um, so, and obviously reading is one of my joys. Um, so I thought I would just do a mid-year check-in uh, and just tell you what's been going on since the beginning of the year. Uh, I've got my trusty but rather unused reading journal. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, yeah, let's check in. So I think uh, I have read, or I'm on the eighth book for the year. Uh, so if this is the first video of mine you're watching, in about the second week of January, a medical, a medical condition that I had a few years ago and knocked on the head then, reared its ugly head again, and it floored me. Knocked me for six. Uh, could, could could barely function, very no energy. Um, so I'm basically in a book reading slump. Um, I would consider eight books to be at least two months reading for me. I, I'm not a prolific reader anyway, um, and I only ever read one thing at a time. So um, as I say, I would consider eight books to be at least two months or a month and a half, depending on life. Um, so the fact that we're into July and I'm still on book eight, uh, which is at 28% on the Kindle and has been like that for the last three weeks, <laughs> says a lot. Uh, of the eight books, um, four of them I actually read like that. <laughs> uh, the other four have just been slow going like this and it's not a fault of the books, it's a fault of my desire to read. So um, I, I will get there, I feel, you know, as I say, I feel like I'm a bit more normal now um, and I would really like to get this book finished. It's, it's the third book in a series um, and I have enjoyed the series so far so uh, and I'm eager to read other things. I've still been buying books. Um, one of my goals in my reading journal was to only buy 10 physical books this year and whatever I wanted on my Kindle. And that's pretty much held true. I've either, I've cheated. <laughs> um, I brought some non-fiction and I brought bought brought books one two and three and I've just said that's one book <laughs> instead of listing all three books so I've either brought four books if you count my cheat cheat or I have brought six books so far physically um that reminds me let me just check that did I put uh where is the page oh yes I did yeah, so that's right. So I've either brought four, if you allow my cheat, or six so far this year. And I don't actually have any more on my radar, and I am not, well, I haven't been, because I just haven't had the energy, perusing physical bookshops. So I haven't even been to the second-hand bookshop to look at what they've got in the historical romances or anything like that. Haven't read a historical mo romance this year either. So, anyway... What I thought I'd do is just show you the four physical books that I've read, uh, and uh, I just uh, one and one in particular because I wanted to wrap that up that series. Um, the of the other th four which are on the Kindle, one I think was a a short office romance which I was neither here nor there. The other three which are the same series as the Lucky Harbour series by Jill Chavis. I think that's right. I can't remember. I haven't got it written in front of me. Well I have. I just haven't opened the book. Um, and I'm on book three and I'm, I actually enjoy the series. Um, 
and I'm I'm I don't know whether I'm going to carry on or whether I'm going to stop now because these first three books center on three sisters uh, and then book four goes into a whole new set of people in Lucky Harbour and I think they have alluded to the main male character now in book three but as I say I'm only at 28 percent of book three so I'll see I don't know I'm, I'll probably buy it and then I'll just see whether I read it now or whether I read some of the other stuff I've been buying anyway so um, the three non-fiction books was a rabbit hole and oh yeah <laughs> Let's just not count buying non-fiction books on the only buy 10 books list. <laughs> because otherwise... Um, I've brought nine books this year. Anyway, so I was watching a video on Hollywood Graves, of all things. Uh, and I think, I, I don't even know the channel... Uh, and I, I'm not sure, I can't remember what he was looking for. Um, like, it wasn't this specific video, but the types of videos he makes, he has a theme to. Like, one of them was the old school, original Disney creators, and he went round and showed all their graves. And then he actually alluded to where you can see them memorialised at Disneyland, which I thought was a really cool thing. But in one of these types of videos, he pointed to a grave and he said, that's Elizabeth Short, the, ba the Black Dahlia. And I'm like, who? So, hello, Wikipedia. And I went, oh. And that led me down a rabbit hole. Because, and I don't normally read books like this. So I, I in my rabbit hole and looking for books... And looking on YouTube and Facebook and Instagram, I basically discovered there are two teams of thought. Uh, the Black Dahlia, if you don't know, and if you're squeamish, I would suggest you don't go and find out any more than what I'm about to tell you, um, is a young lady called Elizabeth Short who was murdered in Los Angeles in 1942. 43 somewhere there uh, and she is her murder is notable because her murder her her murderer cut her in half through her abdomen and depending on your which school of thought you live in posed her to be found um, and she was back in the day the reporters and the police were a bit like this and the reporters all had police scanner radios so when something was phoned into the police the reporters got it so the reporters were actually first to the scene and photographed everything which is why I say don't go looking if you're a bit squeamish so I like I'm I'm interested in reading and and, and I've said this before in my channel about having um, a detective series where it's the focus on the solving of the crime not the gruesome details of the crime um, although because this is non-fiction unfortunately I get both um, so anyway I went and I brought which is number one I brought Steve Hodell's The Black Dahlia Avenger and then I brought at the same time books two and three now i'm not going to delve too deeply into this because there are two schools of thought from what i can understand um there is the St camp steve hodell and camp somebody else steve hodell believes and he is a retired police detective believes his father is the murderer so this is all his research and investigating after he had retired anyway i read the three books in the space of a week because i was really intrigued by the fact you know like we don't know if this is true this is an unsolved murder um 
And as I say, there is another camp that says Steve's camp is hogwash. So, I don't know. I have since brought two more Steve Hodel books and somebody else's theory, um, which if you subscribed to the other camp, that they say this other book I've bought is hogwash as well. So, <laughs> I don't know. I find it fascinating. It's a bit like the Kennedy assassination. It's it's a it's probably something we will never ever really know the truth about. Um, but the reading all the investigative stuff and things like that, I'm finding endlessly fascinating. Um, I have not read the three newer books I've brought because, again, it's like, do I want to get sucked into this rabbit hole? Anyway they're there if I decide I want to. The other book I read in a snap in two days and I would have read in a day if I hadn't had parenting duties. Um, again if you don't know I care for a parent with dementia is my beloved Seven Sisters. This is the last book, Path Salt. The wrapping up of all the stories. There are seven books prior to this on each of the sisters and there were just little clues and nuggets and threads that hadn't been pulled together and they are all tied up in Parsalt or Atlas the story of Parsalt. Um, I loved reading this, I loved seeing all those little things that were in all the other books. I, I, I'd had a thought about going back and reading all seven books before I read this again, because it's a chunker, but just with the reading slump and just not having the energy and the will, I'm like, I'm hoping there is enough in this to, for me to remember the other books and for all to make sense, and there was. Um, I cried. Um... The only thing I will say is I literally think the last page is a bit naff, uh, but that's because I, I, I don't want to spoil this. Um, it, it delves into a realm of writing that I don't like, um, and I'm like, why we didn't know. <laughs> but otherwise, I'm, I loved it. I'm pleased. I'm, I'm pleased that Lucinda... Riley, who passed away a couple of years ago, left enough of a manuscript that her son Harry was able to finish the story and I think he did a brilliant job. Um, so there we are, that's where we're at. Going forward, I just, I hope that it picks up. I'm not going to commit to videos on book piles regularly at this point in time because I'm not reading enough to do that. Uh, and but I don't want to lose my reading channel um, I am yeah I'll come back to that <laughs> then there is only one person who knows what I'm talking about right at this very minute um, yeah that's where I am at for now I will just keep trying to pick my reading back up um, I don't fight when I have a reading slump. I don't force it because I want it to be enjoyable. Um, and and all I need to do, which makes it sound like the one I'm reading isn't a book like this, is just have a book that, that sparks me and then it, it should then just fall back into place. Um, and while book three at 28%, obviously isn't doing that it kind of is because I really do want to know how this couple um, how their romance goes um, and they're happily ever after and all of that sort of thing so I just need to dedicate some time and do it now and get it read so that I can then move on and find the spark and pick my reading back up a bit more so that is where I'm at. It's just a quick check-in uh, and who knows when there'll be another video on here um, again. So I, I, I'm going to leave it like that because of just the reading slump. Um, in the little where I've 
been video that I is the video before this one I made a comment about having to have a procedure my doctor still wants me to do it but we haven't talked about it yet so I, I still don't know how if and when and how it will affect me so we'll just see how we go um, anyway I hope you're all reading much better than me um, drop a favorite book um, in the comments uh, let me give me some more things to look up and buy on my Kindle <laughs> uh, and I will see you when I see you. Take care everyone. Bye for now.